Published 1817 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of July 2018. Updated 1829 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 16th of July 2018. And Golo Kante has endeared himself to fans with his shy nature, and the Frenchman continued to do so as. France carried on their World Cup celebrations, over 500,000 French supporters lined the Champs-Élysées on Monday afternoon as they received less blues from Russia following their victory over Croatia in the final. With the celebrations in full swing, midfielder Paul Pogba took the microphone and began singing the now-famous Conte song, his teammates dancing in the background. Paul Pogba, left, sing essay song praising N'Golo Conte, right, for stopping Lionel Messi a sheepish Conte refused to accept that he was solely responsible for shutting Messi down oh N'Golo Conte, oh N'Golo Conte. He is short, he is nice, he's the one, who stopped Leo Messi, but we all know he's a cheater, at cards, N'Golo Conte, Pogba sang with a sheepish Conte looking somewhat embarrassed in the middle of the huddle. And footage has now emerged of Conte responding to the suggestion that he was solely responsible for stopping Leo Messi during France's last 16 win over Argentina. Midfield partner Blaise Matuti took to Instagram to share a video of himself praising Conte for stopping five-time Ballon d'Or winner Messi. An amused Conte quickly shook his head and said, no, no. We did it together, the Chelsea midfielder hit the headlines following Sunday's game after footage emerged of him appearing too shy to get his hands on the World Cup trophy itself. Conte, left, insisted it was a team effort as Blaise Matuidi sung the song on the team coach. The Chelsea midfielder, second left, was all smiles as he celebrated with his teammates 2013, League 2014, League 2016, Premier League winner 2016, helps France reach Euro final 2017, Premier League winner 2017, PFA player of the year 2017, Place Player of the Year 2017, Ballon d'Or nominee 2018, FA Cup winner 2018, World Cup winner teammate Steven Enzonzi had to intervene and retrieve the jewels rim it so the Conte could lift it himself. According to French publication Le Parisien, the 27-year-old had played at the Luzhniki Stadium with a stomach bug, explaining his uncharacteristically quiet display in central midfield. Despite Conte not being at 100%, Les Blues were still able to win football's biggest prize for a second time. They took the lead through an unfortunate own goal from Mario Mandzukic before Evan Perisic leveled the scores midway through the first half. Antoine Griezmann, Paul Pogba and Kylian Mbappe all found the net to seal the victory before Mandzukic bagged a consolation. N'Golo Conte celebrates with the World Cup after France beat Croatia 4-2 in the final Conte only got his hands on the trophy after Steven Enzonzi asked his teammates to let him Enzonzi had to step in and retrieve the trophy for Conte, who was too shy to ask to hold it Enzonzi can be seen taking the trophy off Florian Thavant before handing it to the midfielder.